All right, hello, YouTube. Okay, it's me again. I'm here. Welcome to Bradlick. The this is where the intersecting of Bradlick Road and Backlick Road. And here is some chicken, and I have pineapple. Mmm. Strawberry. Mm. I like coming to uh, Springfield Plaza. I bike around there. And I, occasionally, from time to time, there's a fella who sells fresh fruit. So I got these two mangoes for $2 each two for five like like we got it he, he gives he gives out passes out free slices of watermelon all day he's got these watermelon he says it's from Florida it's in his pickup truck It's filled with watermelons and he, all he does is just cut it up and, and pass it out it's like quench your thirst in the summertime I really enjoyed that mm. baked chicken. I just got it actually from the giant back here. Maybe I could get a, a, little, a little bit of something uh, stock, stocking overnight. It's a pretty nice big store though. So the job interview for Target worked out really good, and they res responded with with like the criminal background history and everything. It's like there's a PDF file though, and how do, how am I supposed to print that out? All I have is a cell phone out here. I'm sort of confused because I don't remember what it what I had to do last time. I used to work at Target though. It was fun while I was there. The only problem I have with it is that the, during the night time after midnight, they cut off half of the lights to save el electricity. And uh, then you have to strain your eyes to see where the product label, where the number, the ordering, alphanumerical order, where it goes on the shelf. It's hard though, to, it's confusing. I, I never really 100% figured it all out. All I did was look on the shelf for similar products and just stuck the thing right next to it where I thought it would go. Like, that's, that's the type of guy I was at first, but then I sort of got the hang of it later. Then I had to leave because they cut my hours way down. It was only t 10 or 20 hours a week. I need 30 or 40 though. I don't care what kind of job it is. And I'm talking to just one job. Um, 30 or 40 hours each per job. That's what I expect. I must have two jobs because like I ju I've ju just done nothing. Mondays through Wednesdays, I do nothing. I'm bored. I gotta find something to occupy my time. I'm so famished today.
last thing I even had to eat before I went and bought this. See, because I had a little bit of this, uh, what I'm having right now. I had some of the same thing earlier today, but before that, I had nothing but like leftover salad uh, at, at around midnight. That's all I had. I'm, I went to work the t last night or in the morning or whatever you call it. And I, I was feeling pretty exhausted, but I got I got the work done and it, at least. Uh, I just I could have done it faster though. There's no, there's no rush anymore. It's not like, it's, it's not like panic shopping, pandemic, Amazon. It's not, it's not that way anymore. It's, it's a chill place now. The Amazon warehouse. It's just a fun place to hang out, just like it used to be. It's like the good old days, kind of just like when I first got hired. That's how it, it reminds me just like that. This was advertised as barbecue chicken. It tastes like like the seasonings are really really uh, thin. Whatever they got on here, I can't say that it would taste like barbecue chicken to me though. You'd have to add barbecue sauce onto it. That'd be good though. Just getting some of this pre-cooked chicken and stick it in a pan with a whole bottle of barbecue sauce. That would be fantastic. I'm gonna do that tomorrow actually. If I get if I get enough if I could find a spot to camp out around here though. I went to Lake Akatink Park, that's where I actually got some sleep today. It was only four hours. Couldn't have been any more than that. It was a little bit sunny. Um, I'm still trying to reset my body clock. I've never quite really had any circadian rhythm since I was in high school though. You know that, that that doesn't seem to be, even be that unhealthy for you to to be like sleep deprived. Though it's bad for your mind, but your body doesn't get it, it doesn't affect it. After that four hour nap at Lake Akatink Park, I rode around on my bicycle. Well first I woke up and made a cup of coffee. I enjoyed that coffee. It was nice to just brew some coffee out in a natural setting. Piping hot. And I rode this, this bicycle to 21 speed all around the place. Anytime I park at a place nowadays, I just pull my bike out, let my thing cool off. My vehicle has to get, get a little bit up, settle down. And then I just bike in a lap around in circles and check the place out for a while. Then I can I can see a little bit more things if I'm traveling through it slower. 
I don't tend to miss as many things. I can pay attention to more and see see like see like more more like hidden secrets or like things that you wouldn't notice. You'd have to bike through a place at least two or three times before you start to see these things though. I swear like Springfield, Virginia. It's not even not even that bad of a place to, to ride a, bi a bicycle. It is you just have to keep up with the speed of the traffic. If you're slow, then it's too too dangerous to do it. Or people would honk at you if if you're not. You have to be sprinting. You have to be like in the Tour of France. That's how you have to act when you're out on a bicycle in Springfield, Virginia. Cause it's a bunch of high, highway traffic comes through through the place, just flowing right through it. It's all built so that there's, there's big sprawling ramps and overpasses and exit from 495 and I-95. There's millions of people going through it every day. It's the hornet's nest out here. It's like, it's what Baltimore would be, except it's it's in Virginia. It's similar industrial to like Baltimore. I wonder when the dollar store is about to open up here. <laughs> I just, the sign says closed on there for a couple months. But then the, they keep the lights turned on 24-7. What a huge waste of electricity. It's just like a, a, um, at a Michael's. They got like these fluorescent lights. They're not up to date with that white LED. They're not hip with the new, the new technology, though. All right, they, don't, they don't know about the white LED. Some people are just falling behind, I swear. Dollar Tree. Maybe it's just a little bit of an older... Well, these buildings were built in the 80s, maybe. <laughs> at Subway though, at around lunchtime, uh -huh. long line, I, I had it, I walked right in there, people thought I was about to cut in line, I headed right to the back to take, to take care of business, right, right at the Subway sandwich shop. I was wearing these yesterday. I'm wearing some pants now today. I swear they're fresh. I washed them. So right in the subway. The sandwich shop. Over here. I took a big number two. And a, a nice long one. And these people over here were pointing at my vehicle. Um, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just trying to... Get a little breakfast, lunch, slash dinner. I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm a motorist sit, seated in my vehicle with the the, uh, the dome light illuminating. 
appe appearing to uh, to be consuming on <coughs> chicken bones and uh, and and it's like I just came here because I like the McDonald's Wi-Fi right back here. I'd like to go to the Gold's Gym. I'd like to go rowing in the Gold's Gym. I belong on a crew team. I should go to the river. That's what I'm doing here, actually. That's the true reason I'm here. I have to go row. I'm gonna shower up. Maybe take a shower before I row and then after. And then when do I mix up a creatine or a protein shake? pre-workout or something mm. this this so this um, is a full course meal I was just saving the carbohydrates for l like dessert there's something about pizza crust or like Pita bread. This is flat bread made with white flour. There's just something about it. It reminds me of like a bicycle wheel. I, I like it though. It keeps for a long time in, in, in a hot car and everything. Well, that's all of the chicken. I don't have any more. Although I got plenty of chicken today. Maybe I should cook a steak tomorrow. How would I do that? I don't have a barbecue. I just have a propane stove. I can maybe, maybe, uh, I can clearly boil things, like, Making a soup is no big deal. I've made three or four of those already. That's about all I could do to cook with it, those boil things in the pot while stirring it. Is it only, the water only tends to get really hot right in the center and you have to distribute the heat. These are s such fresh strawberry. Yeah. Well, I'm happy that I was able to head down to the park today, make a cup of coffee, and I rode my bike around and I was chatting with some of the locals around here. See, I, I rode my bike, I was heading down this path, and there was like, right at the end of it, a little overlook right at the lake at the top of the dam a dead end I was riding through on this trail really silent about the only way you can see me coming is if you notice my bright flashy LED lights and you're in, in the corner of your vision and that's that's about it though because this dude said that like he, he didn't even notice me like he thought I teleported there. That's how quickly I, I came right, right up behind these this couple. And I had a long, nice long chat. And he was like, oh wow, so Lake Akatink is 30 or 40 feet deep in the middle? How do you know this? I was like, huh. I, I think from what I remember, I just looked it up on the internet. And he's like, so do you work around here? 
And I, I, I'm like, yeah, I just go to the Amazon warehouse down the street. <laughs> but yes, this this bicycle is it's pretty quiet as I'm riding. Although the gears in the chain need lubrication pretty badly, uh, they've they're not that noisy though. Unless I'm shifting. This, this is a silent bicycle. Very sneaky. Run up on on him. You can go go right up behind something. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that. That's that's a little bit inappropriate. Don't sneak up on people. I mean, it's rude. What, well, what, what if you were at the park and somebody did that to you? How would you feel? <laughs> then again, people were like hanging out right next to my car while I was trying to take a nap. I mean, it's like. I blocked off the window with the t-shirt and everything, but still, w wouldn't that be just as inappropriate in the same way? People are disgusting. I just want to live alone. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to deal with anything. I detest these things, and I, do, I must not consume the flesh of that creature which is from the sea, which does not bear fins or scales. I, I, de I detest this. I, I, I do not touch it. I, I walk separate from the unclean thing, come out from among them and be ye separated, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. I am cleansed now. This is my, my renewed, uh, my, this is my, uh, I'm re, I'm re, my, my rebirth. Should I get like a water baptism? But how would I get it done formally? I would want it to be like a very highly publicized event I'm sort of a celebrity now, right? <laughs> How many people would attend that? I don't have any memory of getting baptized as like a small infant. So then did I really get baptized? How, how do I know? Is there like paperwork? Where do I find this? So did you know that there, there's such a thing as watermelon, but it's like yellow watermelon. Just the color is different. The taste is the same. That's what this, this man was serving up. He was slicing it on the table right down here in Springfield Plaza. I was just down there an hour ago. And he was handing it out, man. Free watermelon. Passing it, pass it all around quench your thirst in the summertime. That's what I like. Does watermelon have any other nutrients other than sugar and fiber? I feel like it must have some some micronutrients in there. What has it got though? Why does it taste so delicious then? It's as if like it's important or something.
these things weren't native to Europe or the Western world though until Christopher Columbus and they were all in South America. Is, is that where they come from? Like cucumbers and pumpkins? Because they're related to the tomato. Oh, this comes with like blackberries too and also blueberries and kiwi and honeydew this also comes with and it has cantaloupe this is a delicious bowl of fruit I'm gonna need to come up with some more protein pretty soon here. That really, really means uh, the the cheapest source of it, it economically is to mix a little whey protein and some milk. Isn't that what you do? Wow. <laughs> A humongous bowl of fruit. I can ditch the, the chicken bone. This was the chicken. <coughs> this is baked chicken. Then it says barbecue. Entree. Family meal. Chicken bone. Yeah, yeah, I got that chicken bone. Yeah, <coughs> uh -huh. uh. maybe like, should I get some some kind of free range organic chicken? How, how would I be able to cook my own chicken? What if I wanted to do that? I'm thinking I have to have a bonfire somewhere. At least have a bunch of hot charcoal lit up and surround the cast iron pot, put it in a pit. That way I could use it as an actual Dutch oven to, to bake things with it and put the lid right on, cover it. It's the only way I'd be able to cook any meats out here without making soup. So then I can pick up some sausages, cans of like Campbell's wedding soup or the Progresso chunky thing or like anything I want. And split pea soup is cool, but clam chowder is also like if, if you take a can of sardines and a can of chopped clams add the two of those in